to Kenting on the bus from Van Diao. This area is famous for shrimps and prawn farms right next to the sea. So they use seawater. You can see many, 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 many all along the coast. Sandy Beach is where I'm actually heading. All free. You just put up your tent and you can stay there to your heart's content. So I'm now in Baixa Beach. Now I've been coming to this beach for, for over 24 years and I have never experienced a Wi-Fi player in the music like now. But of course it's the sign of the times. see the village in the distance and the sea is an amazing color now I have to buy the ticket first then I will go up to the viewpoint and I will show you why this park is called Maupito hi just look at this wonderful view. This is Kenting Bay. And this is Kenting Bay. You can see Kenting Village in the distance. And you can also see down below here all the coral reefs exposed. And this rock here, which is all made of coral. Now I'm going to show you why this place is called Mao Pito because Mao means rock. Mao, sorry, Mao means cat and Pito means rock. And you can see in the distance, I'll try and zoom in a little, there's what looks like a, a little dog with his head pointing upwards, his two little ears and a little tail at the back. Now I'm going to go to the, the innermost tip of Taiwan where there is a lighthouse and I will tell you a story about that as well in the next video. Now entering, actually I mean the Oluampi National Park and this is the Oluampi Lighthouse. 
I will tell you a little story in a minute, which is rather gruesome, but it's interesting. Now, before I do that, we are at the southernmost tip of Taiwan. Taiwan is shaped like a sweet potato with a chunky top and it tapering to a point, which is very much what a sweet potato looks like. Now the incident which I wanted to mention is relating to some uh, uh, a ship, uh, a merchant ship loaded with English with an English crew, caught a shawl and it was pushed on the on the uh, the 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 rocks on the rocks. And unfortunately, the, the local people, the Aborigine, which at that time were known as headhunters, slaughtered every man. Over irons of time and the cataclysmic movement of the tectonic plates, the sea floor compounded by millions of years of crustaceans, coral formations, and limestone created the marvel that we today call the Kenting National Park, which I will now show you in my next video. The park is sparsely populated by buffaloes, the Taiwan spotted deer, the Macau monkeys, and some goats. These animals are very rarely seen, and in all the years I have come to this park, I've only seen each one once. Now you can see how the coral and lime formations have created wonderful natural spaces and channels and this is one of them. Now entering it. The incredible thing is that some of these trees have found their way through the solid coral and rooted themselves onto it to grow above. During the Japanese domination of the island from the early 20th century until 1949, they were responsible for uh, beautifying the park by building these paths and uh, planting more trees and making this park what it is today. So although they, they killed uh, some of the local people and the Aborigines, they were quite brutal. They also improved the island generally by building roads and parks and paths like this one. <laughs> The three seas 
the Taiwan Channel to the right, the Philippine Channel in the middle, and the Pacific Ocean to the left. You can just barely distinguish a radar station in the far distance. And this is like, it reminds me of the Garden of Eden, this place, when man first came to this earth. Adam and Eve. Unfortunately, in this place, they would have been stuck because there are no apple trees. But maybe these grew later. You can see how the plants have attached themselves to the rock because this area is very, very windy. And so in order to not to be blown away, the famous Baisa Beach where director Ang Lee shot several, several scenes of the movie The Life of Pi. Today is a little overcast, so you don't get the same idea of the, the blue sea, but uh, you get an idea of how nice the beach is. It's about 500 meters long. And there is always a little temple, wherever you go, where the locals play to the gods to give them protection. I am now on Baisa Beach. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. The sun is coming back. There are two people, two foreigners who are swimming. So you can see that the beach is virtually deserted. Yesterday it was a holiday, so there were a few more people, but usually throughout the year, it's just like this. I've often found myself totally alone here, enjoying the beauty of this paradise, Baisa Beach. 